KHOU 11 Morning News starts now. Now to your morning headlines, starting with financial help following natural disasters. FEMA is now trying a different approach. Some of us may have forgotten a loved one's birthday by accident, but for one Texas family, it's a little easier to remember their special day. As you prepare for the Arctic blast, you need to know what to do if your car is covered in ice and you need to get somewhere. All right, Kim, in less than 48 hours, a certain jolly someone, maybe your <laughs> husband. That's right. I'm giving Mrs. Claus to <laughs> is taking to the sky. A child living with a mental health disorder can take a serious toll on parents, not just emotionally, but physically as well. According to Transtar, a crash on the interchange ramp to spur 527 has several lanes on the freeway and the ramp shut down. Good morning and thanks for being up with us. I'm Katira Winfrey. Chris Ramirez, break down the game day forecast for us. Well, an exciting moment for one Cypress veteran who will be ringing in the new year with a much needed upgrade to his home. Welcome back. The time is now 955 and now to the top three stories we're tracking. Now to your morning headline, starting with a surge of flu cases and hospitalizations across the US. $3,000 sandwich bag, Chris. Are you making a money sandwich? Like, what do you even put in this bag? I honestly, for that much money, the bag better be making the sandwich at that point. Listen, listen, you on to something there, Chris. <laughs> and a victim of a suspected road rage incident says he was only trying to merge onto the freeway when he was shot. Now he's sharing his story only with KHOU. Chris, as a 90s kid, I think I could do it. I think I could pull off not using my phone for a month, if that means 10,000. This one from a small business owner who is not only concerned about the money they spent on shipping, but their reputation. Now to the top three stories we're tracking, starting with number three out of Northwest Harris County. Bossy, it's better just getting something you don't want and then throwing it in the trash. Yeah, right, for sure. Because mm, I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now to breaking news overnight. One man is dead and multiple other men shot after a fight between two groups ended with a massive shootout. This happened around three this morning near a bar and restaurant on Glen Vista Street. We're told the southbound Monroe exit for Gulf Freeway is shut down, which is one of the main exits for Hobby Airport. Uh, the one male tried to run away. He ran to the service road right there at Gulf Freeway and Monroe. Uh, where he collapsed from his wounds. Um, there were other individuals who then fled in a blue Toyota Tundra. It appears that they stole that truck. Five individuals left in that truck. Four of them were dropped off at an area hospital with gunshot wounds. And we're told the shootout left dozens of casings on the ground, creating a large scene for officials to investigate. We're told some of the stray bullets hit nearby businesses. Right now, HPD is working to get surveillance video from inside the bar and interview witnesses. Also breaking, Houston firefighters were racing to an emergency call with lights flashing and sirens blaring when someone crashed into the fire truck. According to Houston police, they suspect the driver of the other car was under the influence at the time. She was taken to a hospital to be checked out. The crash happened just before midnight at the intersection of Cross Timbers and Avon Street. One suspect is dead and two other suspects hurt after three separate shootings involving members of law enforcement. All three of these incidents happened yesterday within just hours. It all started just before 1 a.m. A man was seriously hurt after a shooting involving an off-duty sheriff's deputy. Then, not even two hours later, a deputy and a teen were both shot. We'll have more on those shootings in a moment, but our Troy Kles joins us from outside of Walmart in League City, where a man was killed yesterday afternoon. And Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says an off-duty deputy was involved in a shooting. The deputy was apparently working security at a bar on Tomball Parkway. According to the sheriff's office, just before 1 a.m. Saturday, some people involved in a fight were brought outside the bar when one of them pulled out a weapon. The off-duty deputy told the man to drop it, but when he didn't, the deputy opened fire. The suspect was taken to a hospital in critical condition. This weekend, a deputy is recovering at home after he was shot in the hand. The suspect, a 16 year old boy, is in the hospital. It happened just after 2 a.m. Saturday on Cactus Bend near at Atascacita Road. Officials say the deputy responded to reports of someone breaking into vehicles. 
And now surveillance video shared by a neighbor appears to show those teens attempting to break into an SUV. As deputies arrived, one of the teens allegedly pulled out a gun and opened fire, hitting the deputy in the hand. After the shooting, the deputy radioed into dispatch. Shot fired. I'm at Dibble, Dibble, Cold River. I got one on the ground. He's got two other kids ran off. I'm in the hand. And two other suspects ran from the scene. If you have any information, you're asked to call the Harris County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. Well, the time is now 637 still ahead. Major recalls in the US. Why you may want to check your car before you hit the road. Plus, one man's holiday spirit has inflated beyond control. Guess how many are in his one yard? And we'll tell you if you're right in less than three minutes.